his wife, who had long wished for a child. Finally, their dream came true.
beautiful hair in the whole world. Well, maybe not the whole. Actually, it was kind of long and straight and dirty, but great for climbing. In any case, when Rapunzel heard the witch's voice, she would lay down her hair and the witch would climb up. When the witch was done and ready to leave, she would climb back down. This went on for several years until one day a prince ambled along. As he came near the tower, he heard Rapunzel singing as he would do, she would do to pass the time. Uh, Hark, I hear a voice. Now, Rapunzel had the most beautiful voice in the whole world. Well, actually, it was only an adequate voice, but anyhow. Uh, Hark, hark, I hear an adequate voice singing from that tower. The prince heard a noise. noise. Hark, I hear a voice. It was the witch coming to visit the beautiful, that is, the cute Rapunzel. The prince hid behind a nearby tree and watched as the witch called out. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And the prince watched, and as he saw how Rapunzel let down her long tresses and how the witch climbed up, he thought to himself. Excuse me, prince. Yes. Would you think to yourself a little louder, please? We're having trouble here. Sure, I would just think, is that enough? I should find and seek my fortune. And so, after the witch had climbed back down her legs, the prince went to the bottom of the tower and called out. Out. Huh? Oh, yeah. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And so, Rapunzel let down her hair, and the king's son, Aegis, the prince, climbed up. When he got inside the tower, Rapunzel oh. was oh. greatly oh. terrified. Oh, oh, oh. For she had never <laughs> seen a man before. But the prince talked kindly to her and said, I heard your voice and your acting singing into my heart, and I have no peace until I saw you. Oh, your kind voice has made me forget my terror. Yes, the prince's kind voice had made Rapunzel forget her terror. And the prince said, Oh, my dear Rapunzel, Rapunzel. We need to be on the line. And Rapunzel thought, I would willingly go with you, but I do not know how she would I shall bring a rope ladder with me tomorrow. We shall climb down together. Oh, goody. And so, the prince climbed back down Rapunzel's head to the forest below and started the walk. But Rapunzel called to him, Prince, Prince, here, boy. Yes. <laughs> you forgot our touching farewell scene. Oh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> the prince left, and the next day the witch returned. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Now, Dan Gunther would have never have known about the prince's visit if dumb dumb him said, Mother Gunther, how's it that you get up here so slowly in the king's sin? Alias and Prince is here with me in a moment. Oh, wicked child! The witch cried wickedly. I thought I'd leave you to the world that she would see me. To which Rapunzel said, Sorry, Chief. Anger seized the witch, and the witch seized Rapunzel and cut off her beautiful, well, her stringy hair. And she banished Rapunzel to a deserted part of the forest. And then the witch waited for the prince. Then she waited for the prince. Then she waited for the prince. Finally, the prince arrived. He crossed to above the tower and called. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your hair hang down. The witch wore Rapunzel's hair, and the prince climbed up. Aha! You have come for your darling, but the sweet bird is no longer in the nest. Oh, you mean she blew the coat? Yes. Your dearest Rapunzel is lost to you, and you shall never see her again. Dude. The prince was beside himself with grief. Well, he wasn't really beside himself, as that
that is rather hard to do. Anyway, he was pretty sad. So I left on the tower and fell into a thorn bush. <laughs> he escaped with his life, but the thorn bush on which he fell put out his eyes. He wandered wild throughout the forest for many days until he stumbled on the hut where Rapunzel was hidden. He was both clumsy and lucky. Princey, it's you. Hark, by his magic crying. <laughs> the tears from Rapunzel's eyes fell into the princess, and they became clear. I can see. But he was still clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> so, in one way or another, they lived happily ever after. And her grandmother gave her a little red cloak.
Then the wicked wolf put Granny's night cap on his old wicked head and jumped into bed. Just then, Red Riding Hood came up the path to her granny's house. And finding the door open, she entered. Hey, Very, 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 very